Welcome everyone, and I am going to explain you how ShowPrep is capturing the K1 supplemental page data. Again, this is the very newest feature functionality added to the SP Binder program. Uh, I am very excited about this, and I can talk about this for hours on this. So let's go ahead and see what we are doing for you as far as the K1 supplement page is, is concerned. Um, on the page one of the K1, you will see many times that box 11i has an asterisk and then goes with a statement. And then when you further drill down into page number two, that's where some of the information lies. Uh, you will also see that in the 11i portion, then you have code C, H, I, and then they have another asterisk uh, attached to them. When you go down to page number three, that's where all the numbers are actually sitting down, which you really need to capture. Um, code C and I actually indicate that there is more details, and this is how all of that detail comes onto those pages. I'm sure everybody must have seen such complex K1s where you have 11 I's and 13 W's, where all that information needs to be analyzed, reclassed, and then input in the tax return to create the tax return. We're trying to automate that. But before that, let's see what a manual process may look like today. It may look like something in these steps. So step one, the preparer would input the supplemental page amounts in Excel. We have seen most of the firms use Excel. Uh, this Excel may not be a standard Excel used in the same office, could differ between different partners, or it may be different across different offices of the same firm. In step two, you reclass the numbers in the same Excel that has complex formulas built in. So you pick up the numbers from the source, and then you go in and to reclass those into the second column. Uh, this calculates the final amounts that should then go into the final tax return. And well, how do you enter those in the tax return? That's step three. You input the final amounts in the tax software manually. So whatever are the final amounts, passive, non-passive, you manually pick up those numbers and enter in the tax return. With ShowPrep's technology, well, you can handle step one using our optical character recognition, which is OCR reading capabilities. Step two, you can handle using this newest K1 reclass feature. And finally, step three, by exporting the SP binder data to tax software in two clicks. So let's see how this automation really works for you. Like I said, when the data is read in the binder via the OCR system, our system captures the data from the detailed supplemental information. And you can identify with the red and blue references as shown here. So you see on the far right here, all these numbers have been identified with the code that these all right now belong to 11i because that's the source of those numbers. So the OCR program is reading all those numbers uh, on the documents and presenting it in this fashion so that anybody can identify that these are 11i's. The top one is 11c. On the further pages, you will have 13 w's those references. What happens with those is in the SP binder, the data then flows into the input screens called forms and Excel-based reconciliation work papers called lead sheets. There are different versions of you know, binder that you can use along uh, the forms as part of a classic lead sheet and the lead sheet is already available uh, if you're using a classic lead sheet or a simplified lead sheets version. Again, you will get more information uh, when you talk to someone at sales. But all that source document data is flowing into these different screens, and then you get to manipulate that data. So pre reclass is this is how the screen looks like. But once you perform the reclass in the binder using this new function, and you post the reclass, meaning you push that data into the binder again to change all those numbers, the references change right away on the screen. So on the document, you get to see that all these 11 I's are normal 11 I's. They are going into line five, they're going to line one, line six A, and all different lines of the K1. Now, for better visualization, let's look at another kind of comparison. This shelf is difficult to use, right? You cannot find anything easily, and once you close and reopen the shelf, you're lost again. The K1 reclass, helps you move all these items on the shelf into proper categories. So using and reviewing and coming back to the shelf 
becomes very easy for you.